welcome back. Today we are doing a house tour. The house is nowhere near done in our eyes, but it definitely looks so much better from when we moved in. So I'm gonna do um, a little like before and after of what everything looked like. So we're gonna start in this room. We'll also show you guys what we wanna do to the house. So starting in this room, you will see there used to be a wall right here. Um, we tore that down. We do have videos of us literally doing everything to the house and like anything you see, there's probably like a DIY video on it. So definitely check the channel for those videos. Um, so it looks so much brighter in here, but the thing we wanna do to this room is, Connor, show the ceiling. If you can tell, can you see it on the camera? Nope, it looks white. <laughs> Maybe if we zoom in. There you go. This, so this, Ooh. it looks so bad. The ceiling is like this, funky texture it's not quite like popcorn but it's almost there so we will show you guys what we're gonna do to it it's basically what is done in our um family room we're gonna hopefully mimic that on this ceiling we just have to see what the price would be but we would do it on our own so it'd probably be cheaper anyway so we come through here this used to be a wall it's now my office we put in these French doors, the office isn't really done fully. Um, we painted it, but the paint color I hate. It was supposed to be like this really beautiful, like pale blue and I just don't like it. So we never really did anything to it except for like put the furniture in here. So hopefully someday soon that will be another makeover video. Moving over here, this is like one of my favorite little corners of the house because it gets super sunny. These windows, we have the shades on right now because it just the lighting for filming would be weird. But these windows let in so much light and it actually heats the house like so much. So um, when the sunlight is like this and these are open, the house can go from like what? Like low 60s to 70? Yeah, to like 72. It's like gone, I think, at the highest. So it really heats the house up and it's so nice. Um, but then also on the other hand, once it turns to night, it gets like freezing because of the windows. So in this room, we pretty much, after we tore the wall down, we did the hardwood flooring all throughout. And I think that was it. I did just recently finish this wall and like painted everything yellow. Um, and then moving into the kitchen, this is like one of the rooms that we still haven't really finished yet. We built this island for it, uh, which we love. However, um, we feel like we need to put like new countertops in. So we have these countertops. This was like one of the things in the kitchen we haven't replaced yet and we want to replace them, but it's so expensive. They keep quoting us at like $3,500 and I just feel like we don't have that much counter space. So we're trying to figure out what to do. If we should do like butcher block or just put the money to nicer counters. So we would like to do the counters, the backsplash. I want to repaint the cabinets because we painted them when we moved in, but they just need to be redone. Probably like new knobs and we still need a dishwasher. This is still the painted dishwasher that we never use. So that is that. But now coming back here, this is my favorite room. Is this your favorite room or no? Mm -hmm. That one is cold. Yeah, it gets really cold back here, but it's my favorite room just because it's super cozy. So if you guys see the ceiling, this is what we want to do in the living room. Basically put this like paneling in and then put more beams because we do have that one beam um, in the living room, but I think that adding more and like the paneling would just look so beautiful and really help it. Um, the TV still needs to be mounted in here. And what else do we need to do in here? We were thinking of like shiplap on this wall, but that's mm -hmm. just, it's a lot, a lot of cutting for all of this. I don't think. Just like a wood stove from here, that's about it. Yeah, maybe a wood stove. Um, and then over here, this just goes outside to our patio area. So now we're coming into the hallway and I took over the camera for a second because this part's a little confusing. So bear with me on this. I'm gonna try to explain this to you guys without it being too confusing, so I hope you guys understand what we're saying. So the first non-confusing part is that this hallway was horrible before. Um, the walls, as you guys can see from the video, were just so bad. So there used to be a closet right here. We took the closet out. So then we come down more, and right here, there was another door. 
So the door here was actually the original bedroom door, which is now the office. So <laughs> now it's gonna be really confusing. So keep in mind, this was the bedroom door. And then when you went into that bedroom, there was, it was a really funky layout. Um, I just wanna share with you guys what it looked like because we need advice. So you would walk in through the hallway. This is now my office, but there was this weird alcove. This door was the bathroom. The green door was a closet. And all you could fit in here was a twin bed and it was so cramped. So we took all of that out and just turned it into an office. So I hope, hopefully you guys understand like that layout. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we now have this little predicament where we don't know where to put our second bathroom because we took out that second bathroom. We now have this, which didn't have a door on it before. The old layout was that this was a door and this was a door to the bathroom. So we closed that off to make a master bath because here is our bedroom. So we wanted a separate master bath. So we closed that off and we have this extra space. We thought we were gonna be able to put in like a small corner shower, a little sink and then a toilet over here, but legally it's too small. So we have a couple options. We could tear out this whole wall and just make this one big, like super, super luxurious bathroom with like a standalone tub, a beautiful shower, like a really big shower with like two shower heads um, and just make it really nice and like a double vanity and it would be really big. So then you would have access from the hallway to get to the shower, but you would also have access from our bedroom to get to the shower. So we could do that or we could turn this into a half bath. Um, but then the only thing is, is that the only shower in our house is going through the master bedroom, which is just a really bad selling point. Um, or our other option would be to tear this out, make it the luxurious bathroom, and then put another door right here where the door to the bedroom office originally was. And then, okay, we're back in the office. So we have this, um, wall right here. We still haven't finished this closet, so ignore that. But basically from this wall down, we can make this into a half bath. So just put like a toilet here, a vanity there, and then there would be the door, which goes into the hallway. I'm not sure where I just left off because my camera died, but we have a lot of options for the bathroom and we're not really sure what to do, but we definitely need that second bathroom in soon because it's really difficult people come over. Um, so then we go through the hallway. Here is a linen closet. And here we have our master bedroom, which we just redid. I just, the last video was the whole makeover for this. Um, there was like really awkward windows in here. You guys will see that in the guest room. Um, but yeah, we redid this. Then you come over here. So then we open this up and here's our bathroom that we redid, which we might end up having to completely take apart depending on which option we choose. Um, so yeah. Here is our bathroom. Connor's still talking about how he does not want to change this. <laughs> we definitely want to change though the shower because we still have the old shower like surround in there and we want to just put tile in. So he, what he just said is he wants to like take this shower out, put new tile in, make it really pretty, and then just put a half bath over here. Cause he's like, when people come over, all they care about is going to the bathroom, washing their hands. They don't care about showering. We really don't. We only have like one couple that sleeps over because they live in a different state. But besides that, I, I, this, I guess it like would be, does make sense for us to just like do that. But I think for resale, resale it's not a good idea. But I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. Let us know what you think. And this door goes to our guest room. What I love about our guest room is that it has kind of a beachy vibe to it. It's just super light and airy, and I love this color. Um, so what I would like to do is switch this out for a hanging basket light. I think that would look really beautiful in here with all the colors. We're going to take this window out and then just put either some sort of like wall treatment um, up, like maybe board and batten um, or something like that or just make it um, sheetrock. We're not really sure yet. Um, so definitely there will be a guest room makeover coming at some point in the future. And on this wall, we have this piece that I actually did a DIY on for this channel um, and just put that together quickly. So that's pretty much it for our guest room. 
So also when you come into our kitchen, we have this door which goes down to the basement, which is going to be my next makeover video, which I'm super excited for. Um, our basement is so bad. I don't even know if I'm gonna show you guys it right now, if I should just wait until the video. You know, I'm gonna show you guys so you can use your imagination of what is gonna happen down here, because prepare yourselves. It is really bad. This has not been touched. So here is what it looks like. It's so bad, like it, it just looks like the old house. This is how the whole house was. It was just so bad like this. How do I zoom in on this camera? I haven't used this in a while, but you guys can see like, ew, it's so gross. But what I have planned, it's going to be so beautiful and so different. So I'm just super, super excited. I'm hoping to be able to start working on it in like a week or two. You have anything to say about our house? No, I think that should be a half bath. Oh yeah, so you tell us what you think you want to do. I just did. Half bath. <laughs> <laughs> half bath and then ship lap or something up there. Yeah, I agree, except for the half bath because don't you think it's so awkward then if we have guests, they're gonna have to walk through our bedroom to take a shower and no one's gonna wanna buy a house Who like that. It's over here. Uh, even besides uh, that, <laughs> no one sleeps. Either. So this would be the most useful. It's easier. It's cheaper. yes, one hundred percent. It's way easier, way cheaper. We could do this like in a weekend, but for resale, I think the other way is better. Well, I think just getting something in there would be a huge help. We could borrow Charlie's little potty training toilet. Yes. Get in our house. Yeah, Get no biggie. We could bring honey over and people could just use that bathroom. I have no idea where my outro clip went, but I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for all of you who have stuck around this whole time watching this whole house transform. It is so crazy. There's obviously still a lot that we want to do, but we're really excited to start those projects hopefully soon and share those with you guys. But we hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and having a great day. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.